with Paula Graham. I, How are you this morning, Paula? Fine. Standing shoulder to shoulder, shoulder. with you. Sort of. Sort of. Sort of. Sort of. Um, and Paula, you have brought more goodies from Zeb's out of your stockpile of 10,000 items. Yep. You brought a bunch that we're going to talk about today. Right. These are all, they could be either stocking stuffers, they could be under the tree, they could be holiday gifts. They could be last minute entertaining, pull it out of the pantry things. That's right. So when you're like, oh, what am I going to feed everybody? Whip let's, it out. Let's, let's talk about these things, shall okay, we? Okay, let's start over here. The Snowball Kitchen Black Bean Salsa. You heat that up. And then you stir in the smoked cheddar cheese that we have, and I'll tell you, it's delicious. You can even turn it into a chili if you first, you know, you have unexpected people come in and you're sitting down for lunch. Just whip up um, some ground beef or ground turkey, you know, fry it up, saute it, add this to the skillet, and then when that's all heated through, put the cheese in, stir it in, and it's, you've got Instant lunch. There you go. Instant. We like instant lunch. Instant lunch. This salsa is not gluten free. It is not. No. All but a lot of these items are. All the Zeb salsas are gluten free. Now we have some mustards here. I've got the sweet mild, and we also have sweet hot, and the sweet garlic. Great for hams. Great for ham sandwiches. Are you calling me a sweet hot? No, sweet hot mustard. Oh, sweetheart. Sweet hot mustard, sweet hot. not sweet hot Rob. I'll have to check with Nancy. Here's our cranberry apple chutney for those meatballs, those famous meatballs that you want to pick up. Two pound bag of the frozen cocktail meatballs, some chili sauce, they're all at the end cap at Grant's, and the cranberry apple chutney from us. And there you've got an instant party in a pan. Instant party. Party in a crock pot, if you need a crock pot to do it. The mango habanero and the hot sweet pepper jam hold up to cream cheese so well you don't put it on the top and by the third person in it looks really messy. Yep. So you just stir these into cream cheese, the whipped cream cheese. Um, it can pretty, pretty colors. If you like it really hot, use the whole jar to eight ounces of cream cheese. If you like it sort of mild, you know, less hot, um, half a jar to eight ounces. And then you get two servings. Right. Cranberry apple salsa or apple cranberry salsa, uh, gluten free. You know, just it's sort of a seasonal salsa, although we sell it year round. We've got lobster bisque dip that you mix with sour cream and mayonnaise for a wonderful dip, but you also can add this to uh, half and half and mm -hmm. make a lobster bisque for before Christmas dinner. The roasted garlic and rosemary dip, you can do a tablespoon to eight ounces of cream cheese and it makes a wonderful dip. Doesn't hold up to sour cream though. Nothing one, holds up to sour cream. No, no. I mean, it really doesn't oh, do doesn't well. You have to. It's it's a very strong. So you need the cream cheese. Um, you could do cream cheese and sour cream half, and it's easier to spread. But I use it to put it on the prime rib for Christmas dinner, and you just your mouth waters when you walk into the house. Same with the boisson. You use it with the cream cheese and sour cream mix, half and half. It's very easy to spread. You can put that inside of a flattened chicken breast roll it up and bake it for 45 minutes after you egg w wash it and it's nifty. Buffalo chicken dip, it's a great, great, this is probably our best selling dip with the younger set. Mm -hmm. And it has five different recipes inside the labels, hot recipes. You've got, we've got our own kettle corn and some chocolate covered raisins just to have on the table when people come in, drop in. From Saratoga Springs, one of the rare um, places outside New England that we purchased from, uh, Saratoga Springs, New York, is some peppermint bark, and it's pretty nifty. But they are most famous for their peppermint pig. Let's talk about that peppermint pig, Paula. Hold still. Paula's peppermint Should pig. I, what, am gonna, I you, doing you know, the right direction? And don't worry, no, just hold right that. There we go. Okay. Because we got Hans. We got Hans okay. on the camera. Okay. So let's talk about what a peppermint pig is. It's it's literally hard peppermint pig, pe peppermint candy, shaped in a pig. It started in the Victorian days in Saratoga Spring. It basically came down from the Dutch population. And they would put it inside a little velvet pouch and the hammer that comes with the pouches in here. And they all get a chance to whack the pig after Christmas dinner and make a wish. And then you eat the peppermint. Then you the eat peppermint. the peppermint pig. It's sort of like a mazapan, only hotter candy. You know? I've never heard of hard mazapan. Well, you know, if it's sitting around in the house on the candy, yeah, it's true. just going to get hard. That's, that's what happens this, to this, it. This is hard. So. so that's a nice Christmas tradition. Probably a lot of people do that it every is. year, I would it, think. I, we do, yeah. There's quite a few of them going out the door these days. 
There you go. It's like the Thin Mints, you the know. The Thin Mints. Yep. Yeah. Now, for you people who haven't shopped yet, free shipping still on, I have to read this, our Moxie Bucket, the New England Soup Crate, Coca-Cola Bucket, the New Englander, the Zeps 100%, the Coca-Cola Bucket, um, oh, no, that's the Coca-Cola Snack Pack. That goes, both of them are shipped free. And the Maple Basket and the White Mountain Breakfast Basket, all free shipping until the 24th. But if you wait till the 24th, they're not going to get it on time. They're not. So you might as well go to you might as well go to Zeb's today. Today and and get some stuff. And if you're shipping to the West Coast, tomorrow is absolutely the drop dead date because you need five business days, and that would give you to Christmas Eve. It would. So. Get, get, make it easy for the UPS people. If you're shipping after tomorrow to the West Coast, uh, make it a Happy New Year basket because it's not going to get there in time for Christmas. Now, we have a watch and win question. Yes, we do. I got the phone. So Okay. The question is, how long is our candy counter in the store at Zeb's? How long? Is Zeb's candy in feet. In feet. How yeah. many feet long is that candy cap? I think it says it on the commercial, doesn't it? Does it say it on the commercial? I think it does. But it let's does. not play so, the commercial because. Well, no, but we played it earlier. So oh, you did. Paying so attention. Somebody, if you were watching. Good morning, White Mountains today. Um, 25 feet. 25 feet? Five. Ah, Peshaw says uh, Paula Graham Peshaw. to uh, 25 feet. Good morning, White Mountains today. Good morning. It's 130. 130 feet? No, well, that's if you count a double layer, sort of. So yeah, but that's a little hint. So it's not 130 feet, but if you counted double layers, you might get to 130 feet. So I, I know what the answer is, actually. Good morning, White Mountains today. So. 75. 75. Yeah. You think that's close enough, Paula? That's close enough. I think it's close because the that's actual, actual answer enough. is... 70 feet. 70 feet. So between 70 and... I mean, that's close. That's within if, 10%. If, if you did all four... All, you know, three things underneath and the counter, you'd have 280 feet, but 280 feet. 75 so, feet's close enough. Who's on the phone? Uh, Dave. Dave, good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Well, we, there's a gift certificate for you uh, for Zebs, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. Hang on the phone. So uh, uh, 70 feet of candy. That's a lot of candy. Uh, right. Don't mind me as I walk in front of the camera. <laughs> How are you? And that uh, gift certificate will be waiting for you at Zebs so the kids here don't have to stay all day at work. <sighs> But Please we'll talk, yeah. bring a picture ID. Bring it. And, uh, yeah, proof where you are. All, All right. right. Okay. So, uh, Paula, so thanks so much for coming by. Yep. And uh, still plenty of good shopping there at Zeb's. Oh, plenty sure. of time to get yeah. all your Christmas needs. And you probably could do, like, all, your entire Christmas shopping at Zeb's. I've done most of mine there. And uh, there's there's the website. So you can order stuff yep. off the website, too. Yep. And uh, jewelry and soaps and food and Gifts toys and for the kids toys and, and handmade everything. Handmade toys for the kids. So uh, very neat stuff. So Paula, thanks so much for uh, joining us here again. And thank you. And let me say to everybody from David and Peter, our employers, Ray, our general manager, and all the staff at Zeb's General Store, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And